Hello, I'm Bob Little. I'm an SEO guy, a website guy, and a business consultant. What I'm going to do here is give eight things I wish I knew when I started building websites. I wish someone had told me these things. So I want to tell you so I can help you. I get asked these questions all the time. So my goal is to make it easier for you to build your websites. First thing, what do you need to do to get started to build a website? You need to buy a domain. Think of a domain and go to godaddy.com www.godaddy.com and buy the domain. Second thing you need to do is host your domain. GoDaddy will offer to host your domain. They're very hard to work with. I recommend go to 123ehost.com. Host your domain there. It's $75 for the first year and $50 per year afterwards. They're easy to work with. They do a great job and they have a live chat if you need help with it. The third thing you need to do, and this is the most complicated part, you need to forward your DNS servers. 123ehost will send you a very detailed message on how to forward your DNS servers. What that means is you go back to GoDaddy.com, you edit the DNS servers so they know to go to 123ehost to find your domain. Once you do it once, you're done. Next thing you need to do, you need to have a tool so you can edit your website. You need to be able to make changes to it. The one I recommend is Composer. www.composer, K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R dot net. It's a free tool. It used to be nvu.com. It's a great tool. One of the things you need to know about this is when you're doing a website, the page that is your home page is called Index, I-N-D-E-X. When you name your page, assuming we're doing HTML, you can name your home page index.html or htm. Those are a couple things that no one else is going to tell you. And what we want to do is we want to then get a template to get started with. Big time web designers will say, don't do templates, code all this stuff yourself. Well, we're not big time web designers. We want to get a website up. We want it to look cool. We want it to look pretty right off the bat. Do a Google search for free website templates. Find one you like, download it, Put it into a directory so you can find it. Then use Composer to go edit that directory. One of the things that I always recommend is before you start editing pages, make sure you make a backup of it. And then when you go back to re-edit pages, because you will always be re-editing pages, back up those pages before you make the changes. Just call the page copy of index.html. Next thing you need to do is be able to FTP your site. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. What that really means is you need to get that site from your computer to the World Wide Web. Now Composer has a little place in there called FTP or Publish. And that will give you the opportunity to fill in the blanks, put the information, and send it up to the World Wide Web. Go back to the email you got from 123ehost.com and that will give you all of the parameters that you need to fill in that blank right there. Once you get it up there, um, you may go do a search for your domain and it may say domain not found. If you just now bought the domain, do not worry. It takes a while for the World Wide Web to propagate or get your domain to all other sites. Don't worry, give it a little time. 123ehost will also give you a backup place to find your domain. So those are, and if you go back and count, you will count there are eight ways that uh, will help you build your websites quicker and easier. I hope that was a big help, and I hope you were able to do very, very good websites. Thank you very much, and have a great day.